It's not even a question. Cardi B is the best rapper alive. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't know this was special A. BURN! <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Violet here, and today I'm going to be looking at school TikToks. I want to see what the youngins are doing today. Before I get into this video, I would like to give a big shout out to the YouTube channel SlickVic1993. He makes fun video games for Mario, Zelda, Sonic, and more. So if you're into gaming channels, you should definitely check out his channel and subscribe. The link will be in my description box below. With that being said, let's get into this video. Hey, <laughs> when I was in high school, I could do the deepest voice you will ever hear in life. You will think I was a guy. I used to prank call a bunch of people that I knew, and they always thought I was a guy. I'm like, hey, my name is Tyrone. Oh, see? I, I can still kind of do it. Hey, what's up, girl? My name is Tyrone. But no, it sounded better in high school. It was more deeper. It was ridiculous. FYI. The giant horse cock weighs over 11 pounds. A fucking what? The most embarrassing thing in life is when you have headphones in. This used to happen to me 24-7 in university. You'll have the headphones in and you'll be listening to music and like it's playing out loud, but you can't tell because you're like it's coming from your headphones and everyone can hear it. That shit is so embarrassing. Like after a while of that happening over and over again, I always like double, triple, quadruple check because I'm like no one's gonna hear what I'm listening to. This is how you write an essay quickly. Go to essaytyper.com, your essay topic. Type randomly on the keyboard and just look at how your essay is being written for you. Until your teacher tells you that you have plagiarism in your essay, the hell? That's so risky. Trying to get kicked out of school. And Zach, you start us off. So, uh, for, for my present can it? <laughs> I, wait, I don't. Imagine if class was permanently online. Do you know how much shit you can get away with? Think about exams. You literally have a computer in front of you. Who's gonna tell you not to look up stuff? If you have a question, look up the answer. Look at the breakdown of how people got to the answer. It'll be so easy. If you have a presentation, read it off your screen. No one knows. You fail with the test. And you fail to educate me. Are you talking back? Yes, that's how a conversation works. <laughs> said you failed to educate me. Come back up the century. For real though, in some countries, if you say that, you'll probably get slapped. So, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Don't follow this guy. You had two tests? I did this! You had a 53 and a 60. You can cheat. It's online. I did cheat! And you still got a 53 yes. and a 60. You know when you know that you fully fail the test is when you cheat and you still get a 53 and 60. You must suck at cheating as well. You know what's the worst is when you have an open book test and you still don't know what you're doing. I swear teachers only do open book tests when they know that it will not help you for shit. So if you ever have an open book test, assume that you're not gonna get anything from the books. Okay class, let's take this attendance. Do we have a susa ta? It's forest. For s ta. <laughs> of course. Then do we have a son? It's Addison. Addison. Get it right. <laughs> Then do we have a eye emoji sec? It's Isaac. Are you serious? <laughs> You're the one with an emoji in your name. With what people are naming their kids nowadays, I can see it happening. Probably have some freaking Luke's. You'll have Zoe, Michael. You know what? He's ahead of his years. Ma'am, the FBI is looking for you right now. Hide your wives, hide your kids, because the FBI is coming after your ass. A class that cheats together graduates together, so hey, do you, boo. One, two, two plus two, four, eight, four plus four, eight, eight plus eight, I don't know. memories of when you're done a test and you ask your friend like oh what do you get on answer a and they're like oh i got a hammer and i'm like well i got four so what happened <laughs> i was digging up my mom today when i realized i had um huh <laughs> did i just hear what i think i hear did he say he was digging up his mom it can't mean anything else right 
I'm digging up my mom means I'm digging up my mom. Okay. My class, so I signed on. I tried to pretend like everything was normal. My professor was like, excuse me, Joshy, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry about it. He was like, can you please sit down? You're being distracting. I was like, you think this is distracting? Wait till I start smoking her ashes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Joshy Popkin. I need explanations. Too many questions and not enough answers. Did you get the cops called on you? Were you actually digging up your mom? He said, so I was digging up my mom today and I was in class and the teacher said you're disrupting the class. Forget disrupting the class. Call the cops, teacher. True story. It grosses me out. Oh, it grosses me out so much. Why do people do that? Like, just don't. <laughs> just don't. Oh, and just looking at it, it's messing me up. Get some spit on there, lather it up, go. She told no lies. I used to hate that so much and sometimes if they lick their hand good enough, you like, you'll see like the paper is like wet. Oh! Or when you're paying someone and you lick your finger to count your money. Don't. Do you know how dirty money is? And they're literally going like this, eh, counting it, touching it. Uh, oh, it's so gross. Don't do it. Stop it. Do all girls do this? So I picked up my cousin from school the other day, right? She gets to the car door and she's like, hey, can we take my friend home too? And before I could say, okay, fine, she, her friend was already in the car. I was like, <laughs> okay, let, let's go. So as we were driving, right, I could, I could hear them having an interesting conversation. And by interesting, I mean they weren't saying shit to each other in complete no. sentences. And they could understand each other full. Like, I don't understand. Like, oh my God, Jennifer. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same. You, you get me. But what about, yeah. Oh my God, maybe. At this point, I could have sworn they were just fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's actually true. You know what? It, you know how it happens for me and my friends, at least? It's like something happens that we're like all side eyeing each other, but we can't say anything in the moment. And I would get somewhere else where we can't say anything still because maybe there's someone else around. So we have to like talk in cold. I would be like, oh my goodness, like you saw that happen, right? Like, yeah, like what the hell? I don't know, like it was so weird, right? Like, yeah, like we do that. <laughs> I don't know if all girls do it, but me and my friends do that for sure. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <sighs> Keep it together. It's fine, you're fine. It's okay. Go back to class. You're fine. <laughs> Story of my life. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life, and that always happens to me after a test. <laughs> Grade 11, biology class. Every single time I got a test back, you just see me running to the bathroom so I, I don't cry in the public. It was so bad. And then you're like standing in the mirror, like trying to like calm yourself down. And you're good, you're good. Get outside, someone sees tears in your eyes, they're like, oh my goodness, Violet, are you okay? And you just like, waterfalls. Don't go chase. Waterfalls. That's what happens. Have you done your homework? Have you marked our tests? I have other students test the mark, and I have other teachers' homework to do. <laughs> for real though, teachers are like freaking bankers. So quick to ask for your money, but so slow to give you back your money when you need it. They're so quick to ask for your tests or your homework, but they're so slow to give you back. If you don't want to mark it, ask for it when you're about ready to mark it. Okay, I'm kidding. But for real though, that shit used to piss me off in high school. Here's a modern day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. I knew that was coming. I knew it! And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future? But with evidence like that, I must ask, do you prepare students for the future or the past? Mic drop. But for real though, why are classes still the same today? Everybody talks about this, but how do you change it? I don't even know how to like change it, but someone needs to change something. Something gotta give. I know Elon Musk, he opened his own classroom or his own school that his kids go to. And also people that also work at Tesla, their kids go there too. Or some people, they teach the kids like through games or something like that. I think that's 
a good video to stop at. I'm so happy I don't have to do the, all that back to school stuff. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you could change school in any way, what way would you want to change it? I think I'm gonna go with Elon Musk on this and make it into games. People learn from games, you know? And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you can get notifications whenever I put up a new video. That was fun, guys. We should do it again sometime and stay healthy and fierce.